Hey guys, what's up? It's Cairo, Kyle from Cairo Apps here. And sorry, I haven't been making any tutorials. Just I've been really sick and I didn't have any energy to even get out of bed my at all. So that sort of sucks for me and you guys. But today it's about having uh oh no, it, hold on alert view with text. So like you have a text field or something. So I never actually put this in notes. I just learned it now and I have it all copied what I wrote in a uh, text file a little bit over but I'm gonna put it in a note file like I always do for you guys. So alert alert view with text You know what? I'm not even gonna write that. Okay, just copy that in. Um, now I I did this actually for my app, and it was a username and a password. But for this tutorial, I'm only gonna have one, and I'm, it's gonna be called text field. That's oops. I guess I can put a space there, and I, that's why, spell field wrong, um, and there's a lot of space in there, so, let's get to it, um, open up Xcode, and create a new project, make sure it is a single view application, and I'm going to call it alert view with text. But for this tutorial, it's different. I'm not going to be using storyboards. Um, I found that the views are good for, um, not sorry, not using storyboards are actually really good for uh, like major games. Like they're a lot better, I find. But for storyboards, it's actually sort of good for some people. So I recommend both. But right now, if I had to choose between one or two, I would probably choose the XIB files. So I'm probably going to be using them for all my future tutorials. Maybe the old isn't too bad. But let's go ahead and save this to the, des to the desktop for easy access. And all we need to do is add this code. It is simple, it is short, and easy. I'll guess. <laughs> um, let's just go straight into the actual folder, sorry not the folder, the file itself. Click on the view and then go to attributes. Change this to 3.5 and we're going to keep it in uh, portrait and we're going to change that just to say, make sure it's black. Um, now let's change the background color because I find that's ugly. Yeah, let's go orange. Um, now let's just go into the uh, view controller dot m file, and we actually have no code that we need in the dot h or the app delegate at all. So it's really simple, as I said. So just go ahead and follow along what I write here: alert view colon brackets ui alert view close the bracket, oh sorry, a star, then close the bracket, alert view, did dismiss, so just write that in there, and open up the brackety thing, nope, still didn't figure out what they are, um, inside here just write if, and then button index, two equal signs, one, and in here we're going to write nslog inside the bracket, the at sign, and two quotations, and a opening bracket, and a, sorry, an opening, whatever they are, and a closing one and close the actual real bracket and a semicolon. Inside the two quotations 
write text field or whatever you want the background text to show. Like it's that gray faded out, doesn't have any real text in it at all. That's what it would be uh, set to. So I'm just going to write text field. And you have to write a period. I think that's period. Uh, sorry, a colon. Then the uh, percentage sign and the at sign. And that's it for that. Now, inside the bracket, you have to write, and sorry, inside uh, two brackets, forgot that other one, write alert view, text, field, at index, and then the integer, which we're just going to write zero. And then over on this bracket, write text. And that's it for that. Hold on. I'm just going to fix some stuff here. And show issues. That's not a problem. I'll just run this and see. No, that's literally not a problem. I'm just going to copy and paste this because I still feel a little bit drowsy from all this. I'm just recovering, as some would say. So, let me go ahead and type this in. Okay. So, that's it for that. Let's go. Now we have to make an IB action. So, you guys should know the IB action by now. We're going to call it clicked me. Of course, we don't want that capitalized. Don't know why I put it there. Change that. Um, open the bracket and of course close it. In here, just write UI alert view star alert equals open up to bracket thing and write UI alert view allocate. I think close one bracket and then here write in it with title and this is all like the buttons what they do and everything so first one uh, write the at sign and two quotations in here just write the title so we're not gonna right click me I was just going at it from my app let's write alert the message fill out the text field and of course we forgot the at sign quotations and the closing quotations and an L <laughs> um, in the delegate just write self Cancel but cancel button title. It's going to be cancel. Let's capitalize that. Cancel. Close the quotation. Other button titles. Uh, the at sign two quotations inside the quotations. Right. Okay. And close a bracket and the semicolon. And that's it for that first line there. So just double press the enter button and write alert view. No, sorry, alert. Alert view with style. So this is telling you what kind of style it is. Equals UI alert view. UI alert view with style. And we actually don't want default. We want it set to log in and password input. 
Now you guys can do plain text input and security secure text input. Actually, let's do plain text input since we actually don't need a log uh, password and all that. And of course the uh, semicolon. And now we have to write alert show. Of course, we forgot the brackets and the semicolon. So now we actually have to go connect it all up, of course, with the button. So drag in a round rec button in the XIP file or storyboards, whatever one you guys are using. And we're going to call this alert. At the end of this, I'm going to be showing you how to get the uh, alert view to pop up automatically. But usually, if you want a uh, text or a login or password, you would want it to be attached to a button like login here or something like that. So, open the files owner and go to the connections. Drag click, drag, click me onto the button and select touch up inside. Now run, and usually it would succeed, and of course it did for this time, which is always a good sign. We can open up this and wait for it to load. I like that orange and black. Looks good, Halloweenish, perfect style for this month. And there's our alert button and the awesome custom background. Um, go ahead and select the button, and there's our plain text field, not the secure, uh, all that. There's our title and the message. Um, so say I was going to put in, I don't know, to Kyle. Cairo apps. Let's do that. Of course, it doesn't automatically capitalize. You have to remember that part. And of course, you still have the, you don't still have, but... You have the uh, magnifier, which magnifies the text, and select and select all, and it all works fine. Okay, and cancel, and I spelled cancel wrong. Okay. Um, if we select okay, it just dismisses that. And in the logs, it says the uh, actual text that you input it. And that's how you make an uh, alert view attached to a um, button. Now, if you wanted this to pop up automatically, uh, just disconnect the button and delete the button. Go into the main uh, view controller, .m, sorry, and just copy and paste all this code under the IB action. Get rid of the IB action completely. And in the view did load, just under super view did load, paste that uh, text into that and get rid of alert. Uh, shell because this means it'll automatically come up when the view loads. So let's run this now. And no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay. Let's see. I can't remember this off the top of my head here. Yeah, okay. So you actually did need the uh, alert show to make it show. But there you go, it's just still the same thing, you can write in some random text or whatever and select OK, and of course it comes up in the log what the text was entered as. So that's it for this tutorial guys, I hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe because there's going to be plenty more tutorials where that came from. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Or you can Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw and I will probably, most likely, answer you and tell you, like, yeah, I'll do that tutorial whenever I can feel better if it's during this time. But since it's not, hopefully I'll be better and I can do way more tutorials and it's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.